Well, hello and welcome back to Behind the Line. My name is Elliot. And I'm Tyler. And we are the hosts of this here podcast. It is officially March. Can you believe it? Baseball month. February actually, like, mathematically flies by. So, <laughs> right. like, we can say that. <laughs> the math checks out. The math checks out that it fi- that flies by. Um, baseball, actually, that seems crazy to me. Yeah. The I'm end not- of this month, the 30th, is opening day. I'm not like a massive ba- baseball fan. I enjoy I enjoy going to a game or two here or there, but it this feels really early. Yeah, like because when baseball's around the corner, that means like the winner's about to give up a little bit. Mm-hmm. So that's wild. I really love March for sports. March April, like you get baseball starting. Yeah, good golf. Good like golf, the Masters right. coming up. Um, the uh, March Madness tournament. Yep. It's all good. NBA playoffs are starting to get NBA playoffs. Start, we're starting yep. to see who's going to be who. out. Yeah, the XFL is going on. Logan's really into the XFL. Yeah, definitely excited for he that. He bought a shirt for it. Really? Yeah. You know who Tyrone Garrett is also really into yeah. the XFL. Into Some which people are ringing the bell. I just couldn't. I watched the game. I, I'm a Brahmas fan. A what? It's what did you just San call Antonio me? Brahmas? <laughs> what I call you? What is that? Yeah, I picked the team. I'm like, all right, that's my team now. Turns out they're one of the worst in the league. So that kind of there you matches go. my fan. Un- an underdog story every yeah. week. There I you just, go. I only pick bad teams. <laughs> so go Brahmas. Go go Brahmas. What do we uh? What do we have to root for here at State? Line? Like what's coming up? Yeah, what's coming up? We got a few things. We got our welcome lunch. Okay. So a lot of you listening know about our welcome lunch. It's for anybody who's new to State Line wants to hear more about what's going on. March nineteenth. Yeah. It's a Sunday after second service. Sign up. You can come here. Who we are, mission and vision, values, yep. you can meet the staff, ask questions. So that would be something good to sign up for. Um, free Family Flicks. Free Family Flicks. Is yep. on the 17th. Yes. Which is St. Patrick's Day. Yes. And it's a Friday. It's right? a Friday. Friday. And yeah. it's for anybody. Uh, we'd love for all of our church family to come, invite people. Yeah. Great opportunity to invite people. It's pretty cool. And you, we get to see, you get to watch the movie on the big like led wall That's that we true, have yep. so it ends up t- like we use it more than just greg sermon notes yes so <laughs> it'll be cool i it think it's cool i think it'll be really cool and it's saint patrick's day so yeah. green theme we're green we'll do green eggs and ham we'll <laughs> we'll have the green berets here <laughs> maybe uh, green coffee green coffee we're gonna be watching the green mile the movie so um <laughs> it'll be great yeah which is just a, a great event a great green event yep um maybe- gang green we'll all get gang green <laughs> I can't definitively tell you what that is, so I I don't think I could either. So I just know I don't want it. You don't want it. Yeah, I don't want any part of my. I don't actually think it has. Does it actually have anything to do with green? I'm assuming your flesh turns green. Oh, that's gross. Um, but uh, I don't know why. I don't want to think about that anymore. Actually, that's really gross. None of what I just said is going to happen on that night. <laughs> we'll watch a kid friendly movie. And we'll have popcorn and candy, and it'll be amazing. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, it shouldn't be, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dumb, it's funny. Um, is that and then what we, else? Is that all we have? Oh, we want to highlight the oh, item of the month. Yes. So yeah. um, every month we're going to be partnering with a new organization. Um, obviously, generosity is a big part of our church yeah. through just normal tithes and offerings, but also we like to pick organizations that we can partner with and um, bring an item of the month. So this month is Rock House Kids. Um, and um, they're, they're a great organization in town that reaches inner city kids and helps to um, – helps to bring them support with both like physical things that they need um, but also like have some spiritual solutions so it's all Christ centered a great organization that's reaching inner city kids and so the things that they said they need are Capri Suns remember okay. those the yep. pouches sure do it's like you're putting in an IV every time you yeah. do it <laughs> um, water bottles and granola bars so we'd love for you to bring those all throughout March and then we're going to get them to Rock House Kids and help just support the good things they're doing there yeah and then you can drop them off at we have like a little section in our lobby that you can drop them off at so yeah. um there's banners that say item of the month they're big and uh they're black and white mm-hmm. um and so all throughout yeah the month also of this has worked for some people in the past if you're like on amazon you can have stuff shipped right to our building oh yeah um, yeah so any of those items that come we know they're going to the right place and so that's uh our address is on our website that works out that works slick, actually yeah so so yeah, a lot of a lot of things that we can uh, we can do. A lot of a lot of events that are going on here. So pick one of them, pick all of them, but get in get in get involved at the old state line. Um, 
we've got let's do our verse of the month all right so our verse with it verse of the month comes from matthew 23 um and it's 11 and 12 and it says this the greatest among you will be your servant for those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted um and i i was just thinking about um just some different opportunities that I have as like a leader here at state line. And, you know, I was thinking about just in personal devotions, how to um, be a better leader. And um, this verse came up in, in some of my searching. And I realized that the best way to be a leader is to figure out as many ways as you can serve hmm. Um as many ways as you can show humility. And so I started to like really like survey and, and like look, look over my life and see areas where I could serve more. And, you know, I figured out a couple, I'm like, man, I could, I could be doing this a little bit more. I could be doing that a little bit more. I could find some time to do this or to do that. And, um, it just really like struck a chord with me, I think. And it's been something that I've been thinking about constantly. And I mean, if you look at it was kind of like, as I was thinking about it, I was like, duh. Because like, if you look at the life of Jesus, he was constantly serving the quote-unquote least of these, right? Um, constantly inserting himself into situations where he can help and how he could always, you know, always trying to put his best foot forward in terms of helping people and serving people. And, um, and Jesus makes it seem easy because he's Jesus, but... It is difficult and mm-hmm. it is something that it's like a muscle. Like you have to constantly work at it to get it stronger and you have to, you know, lift weights and lifting weights isn't easy, but it's important, you know? And so, um, I kind of thought about it and I was like, man, this is something that I really need to, if it's a muscle, I need to strengthen it, you know, for me. So, yeah, I like thinking of it like that. It's like, you know, a lot of things that we need to do that Jesus calls us to are, are difficult mm-hmm. and it's so easy just to not do them because of that. But like, I like right. that mentality of like, okay, it's going to be tricky at least in the beginning, but like to strengthen it, to make it become more routine. And it's all like in line with just the upside down kingdom that Jesus preaches about, you know, yeah. everything that is intuitive to us in our broken sinful flesh is, you know, is, is what we shouldn't do. Right. And what, yeah. what is hard is what we should be doing. And so to be able to, um, put other people first and not try to just pave the way through, you know, leaving people in the wake, but like pave the way through serving others and how that goes such a long way. I love that. Yeah. And, and, and it's easy. I think as just a peek behind the curtains as like, as like leaders uh, or pastors, like it's, you have built in modes where you get to serve. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, but on top of that, like I want to, I want to find even more ways that I can serve. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Um, it, it, cause I, I think it's necessary. I think it's vital. And, um, I just, fe- I just was really like struck by that. And I was like, man, this is something that I want to share with, you know, the podcast folks. I think yeah. that this could be something that could be, you know, helpful and something to think about throughout the weeks. I love and that. that's months. Awesome. So, um, that's, that was Matthew 23, 11 and 12 if you mm-hmm. I don't know, from the bible from the bible yeah right. from the bible so um <laughs> just in case you're like oh i need to jot that down or like <laughs> Who's i don't matthew know. how do i get a hold of yeah. him yeah <laughs> he sounds wise <laughs> what's his email um uh, matthew at stateline.church i think is his email so um no i'm just kidding he's not there's no matthew here um uh what else we got here moment of the month <laughs> what's your what's your moment of the month um the worship. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You got me laughing now. Um, the worship night. It was, uh, it was awesome. I just love like those extra opportunities to be able to gather as a church and serve or not serve, but to worship. And, um, really it was, it was the only agenda was just to worship. And yeah, everybody who spoke that night from the heart, like it was very heartfelt and then brought just us as a group to a, a worshipful place and the spirit was alive and it was really great. And it was, yeah, my moment of the month. Yeah, I heard a lot of good feedback from mm-hmm. it. Um, that it was, it was like uh, the apparently the, the people wanted more. Yeah, so they started chanting one more song at the end, <laughs> and we did. We did one more song. We gave the people what they wanted, which that's super awesome. Yeah. That's so funny to me. Um, my moment of the month is was uh, we went on our student retreat, and boy, let me tell you, <laughs> I I think I've been a I've been like a student pastor for like eight years. Um, and 
I was telling Tyler before this, this was the first time that I felt my age. Mm. Um, now I'm, now I'm not that old. I know there's some seasoned saints out there, but, um, <laughs> I, saints, I like that. <laughs> I will be, that's a nice way of saying that you're old. <laughs> Is but, that what I am? Am I a seasoned saint? No, you're not there yet. I'm not. No. The seasoned saints know who they are. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> they know. Um, but I am getting ready to, to turn the tender age of 30 and uh, it'll be in November. Um, and shameless plug for a birthday gift shameless plug and let me tell you something i felt every bit of that 30 during that weekend yeah every bit oh yeah every bit we were sleeping on these like i'm i'm saying this like it's a horror story but like we were sleeping on these like little foam plastic little bed things and these really rickety wooden frames yep. and then i know what you're talking a, about i've been there i've been at that camp you know exactly what yes. i'm talking about and then i had my a sleeping bag which probably i hadn't been in since i was 13 it just <laughs> really didn't fit me very well i'm not super tall i'm about i'm maybe like six foot um but when you're six foot in like a a sleeping bag made for someone that's five seven it's it just power put, rangers sleeping yeah bag. it just doesn't work man you i was like in the fetal position in my sleeping bag which no one should be in um and man we played all the games and did all the things and ran around and it you know kids i was in the middle school cabin so i'm sure you can imagine how that went oh yeah um but the noise and the smell combo the, the no oh my goodness nothing like it yeah nothing like it um but um just the moments that happened and the uh the smiles and yeah. the you, you just can't it's worth its weight in gold, man. I was going to say, for my time in student ministry, I don't miss the being tired and being sore and being yeah. whatever on the camp and the retreats. But I miss those moments, like the the build up to kind of like Saturday night and when people start to understand, you know, what it is that they're doing there. You yeah. Know, not just to have fun, but like, you know, to serve Jesus and to learn more about him. And you see the kids get it. It's pretty amazing. Like yeah. You can't put even a price on that. Yeah. And, and to see the what I love, too, is to see the group that went we had we had a bunch of kids we had a ton of kids actually it was i think retreats have actually been one of our big outreaches mm -hmm. which is really cool um, oh like new kids coming like new kids oh, coming. cool we there's probably like probably 10 of the kids that went to the retreat are now like consistent at youth group mm. and so they have like you they get a taste of like the kids that are at youth group already and now they're like friends for life. Yeah. And now they come to youth group every week, which is just that part is like, that's amazing. As a pastor, you're like, you love to see that. Right. You know, totally. So, um, that, that kind of stuff just is, is awesome. So that was my moment of the month. And, um, also shameless plug for student ministry. If you want to serve at Salem students, contact me or Chelsea. She's gone, but you can contact her Not though. Not gone, gone. Not yeah. She's she's still with us. <laughs> she, <laughs> she hasn't gone child. on to to the Lord. No, she just she'll on, be back. She's just on leave right now. So the maternity leave. Um, um, or if you are are a child, I don't know how many children or students listen to this podcast, not that but many. a parent of a student. Yes, we'd love for them to come as absolutely, well. Absolutely, absolutely. It's on Sunday nights at five eighteen. That's when the service actually starts. But we'd love for your kid to be there at like five so they can hang out and, and come as early as and, noon, right? Uh, no, is that wrong? Don't no. I mean don't do that. <laughs> no, don't do that. But yeah, you can um, come early, play games, yeah, eat some pizza, pizza, snacks, all that stuff. So, um, so yeah, uh, we got a new segment. We got a new segment that okay. I'm excited for, which we're I'm gonna call the Great Debate. Ooh, and basically how this is gonna work is I'm gonna ask you a question, and based on and, and I'm I'm gonna ask you a question. And we're going to just talk about it. We're going to debate about debate it. Debate about it? Yes. Okay. Um, I like that. It might be a would you rather question. It might it might be just a random question of like a situation that I'm putting you in. But Is it spiritually focused? No. No. Absolutely not. Is it fun focused? It's fun focused. Okay. I okay. like fun. Um, so here is the great debate for this month. Imagine, and I want all of you, I want all of you, if you're not driving, close your eyes. I want you to imagine this, okay? <laughs> if you're driving. If you're driving, keep those eyes open. Keep those eyes open. Keep those peepers on the road. Right, right. Imagine those, imagine your blinker and, and driving the speed limit. That's what you need to imagine right, right now, okay? <laughs> um, so I want you to imagine that you're in the BMO Center downtown. Okay. Um, and it's, it's like, there's no chairs. It's pretty cleared out. It's just like an open, so big empty, open arena. Big open arena. Okay. Yeah. And, in that arena are various animals. Okay. All of these animals want to kill you. 
minus okay. <laughs> minus two of the two of the different types of the animals. They will protect you. The, okay? They're on my side. They're on your side. Okay, and you can speak and communicate to them. But all okay. the rest of these animals are going. They want you. They want to murder. Yes. Me. Okay. So we've got ten thousand rats. Ten thousand rats. Ten k. Jeez. Okay. Ten thousand rats. Fifty hawks. Hawks. Fifty hawks. Tony. <laughs> Fifty Tony. Fifty Tony hawks. <laughs> Just doing kick flip indies all over right the place. Right now at like 67 right. or 57, however old the, this current Tony Hawk. No, like flying hawks in okay. the sky. Um, I mean, if you want to mix it up, we could throw 50 Tony no, Hawks. Flying in hawks. That's great. Okay. Um, 50 hawks, um, six wolves. Okay. Five bears. Big like grizzly bears? Like, grizzly bears. Okay. Jeez. Four lions. Oh my gosh. And one very skilled hunter with a gun. Okay. Very skilled. We're you talking know, world class. You know what I picture immediately when you say that is the guy from Jumanji. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how the hunter was summoned? Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. what I picture right there. I pictured uh the dude from Tarzan. What's what was his name? Tur Kerchek? I don't know. Oh, that's why I pictured. Okay. Um, but either way. And so out of all these groups, I can pick two to be on my side. Two to be on your side and the rest are going to, they're trying to crunch you. Ooh. My gosh. Do you want me to tell, do you want me to tell you what mine are first? Yeah. So, okay. Uh, question. The other groups, the if other I, groups. that I don't pick, can they communicate and, with oh, each yeah. other? Yes. So they're all on the same They're team. all like, yep. It's not like, the lion's going to get hungry and just start eating the rats. They're, they're on no, the same No, they're team. like, oh, yeah, we all want you. Just okay. you. They they're hyper-focused. One more question. Yes. Okay. W how can I defend myself? Do I get any weapons? No. Nope. Bare hands? Just bare hands, yep. But if I pick the rats, I could chuck the rats and stuff. Well, the rats, you could do a lot of stuff okay. with. Okay. I want to hear yours. Okay. So, I picked the 10,000 rats. Okay. And I picked... The four lions. Okay. I picked the 10,000 rats because it's 10,000 rats. Like, it's a lot. You can divvy those suckers up. You can. Now, I, I don't know what rats would do necessarily, but 10,000, they've got to do something. They'll give you a lot of diseases and you'll Maybe. die over time. Right. So I would. I just pictured 10,000 rats chasing after me, and I'd rather not have that because that's a lot and they're pretty fast. Um, and then I picked the four lions yes, because okay they are the kings of the jungle, and I feel like they could probably take down some bears personally. Hmm. Now How many the, bears? There's five bears. How many lions? Four lions. Four lions. Okay, and there's also six wolves in there. Man, this is tricky. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna eliminate the hawks right away. You're not going to take I'm them. not taking. They're not on my side. Yeah. I, I mean, feel like I feel like I could probably kill a hawk or three before I died. Yeah. The the skilled hunter, he's armed? He's armed. And unlimited ammo. He, uh, unlimited ammo. But he's just a man like you. He's just a man. <laughs> he bleeds just like just like me. Um so I'm I'm going to go with Oh man, I'm I'm taking the hunter. You're I'm, taking the hunter? I'm taking the hunter. Because he's got unlimited ammo. Now, I don't feel like the ammo would be able to get the rats, right? Because no. Because there's just too many of them. So I'm with you. I'm taking the rats and the hunter. Really? Yes. And I feel like if if I picture 10,000 rats, they could they could swarm over a bear and, and maybe I, I think they'd be able to take them out. I, I think. I think they... He'd be thrashing, but they'd be biting. I pictured, like, uh, I pictured the rats turning into, like, Megatron. Yes. Like, they all come together. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And they just, like, they mega rat. Super rat, yeah. <laughs> and but, maybe, like, the hunter could be riding on super rat's back. Oh, dude, I feel like... Here's the thing, though. I feel like the hunter is just as crunched as I am. If, like, there's... But he's smart. He, he is very skilled. I'm he's, kind of assuming that all these animals have the same IQ they do right now. Yes. No, they're not like super smart animals, But right? they can communicate, though. All of them. Yeah, but two stupid things communicating with each other are not going to do much. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't think... I, I'm assuming they can't like strategize and stuff. They're just more like using instinct. Like, okay, I'm not going to eat you. Well, you won't eat me. Let's eat that guy. Well, the lions become like commanders then. They're like, you guys go over here. You guys... You yeah, know. but they're still not... 
wizards of strategy. They're just lions. <laughs> so, like, I'm taking the smarts of the human with, like, the, the size of the grouping of rats. I'm, I didn't in this exercise think that they could make a super rat, but that would be fun. Yes. But they would just be swarming around. And then you could, like, they, they'd be flanking you from all angles. And, and I like that. I like the, I like the rats. And we're just differing on the, the, the lions. The lions See, out of those, it's a hands down bear to me. See, I feel like I could I could run enough and the lions would like defend me enough to like I feel like two lions and two bears scrapping it. I feel like the but lions they, are more there, there were more bears, you said. Yeah. But I feel like the lions are more agile though and they're, they're I think just, now we're just debating if a lion could beat a bear in a fight, and I don't think so. I think really? the bears are very strong. Have you seen the revenant? I have. Dude, that bear. He wild. That bear wasn't real, though. No, it's CGI. <laughs> but oh, these are real bears or CGI yeah. bears? <laughs> <laughs> if it's CGI bears, I'm changing my answer. You gotta take the CGI I gotta bears. Take the CGI bears. <laughs> Them revenant bears. All what day. they did to Leo, yeah. that was that was rough. So that was. <laughs> what rough. are we doing? Here? We're doing absolutely nothing, and we're wasting time. Um, oh man! Well, thank you so much for joining us on this podcast. Let us know if you take the rats, the lions, the tigers, the bears, the oh my's. Just l- let us know in the comments. <laughs> Nobody's taking the hawks. I don't think. I don't think anyone's taking the hawks. You, you got the hawks. They're only good for fifty rats, right? About once yeah. they get the rat. That's all they got. Then you got the other 10K swarm in the... It's over Hawk gone. Hawk gone, yeah. Sacrifice one for the good. I was actually... I was going to question your intellect if you picked picked the Hawks, but you did I just wouldn't understand Hawks if I picked (laughs) them. (laughs) (laughs) All right. We'll see you later. Bye.